everyone today. I will show about 11 biggest tractors of all time. The average horsepower of new tractors in the 1920s was just 25 horsepower, but it's now nearing 160 horsepower. Michael Williams takes a look at the 11 most powerful tractors built over the last 100 years. The first tractor is Twin City 6090. 1,930 horsepower made in the early 1900s. American and Canadian farmers were bringing large areas of prairie land into cultivation. For the first time, big power was the fashion and the Twin City 60 to 90 model enjoyed a brief spell at the top of the league table. The second is Holt 70 to 120 1917 120 horsepower one of the tractors. That ended the Twin Cities brief supremacy arrived in 1917 from California-based Holt Manufacturing. This was the 70 to 120 model. Using the American numbering system to identify maximum horsepower at the drawbar followed by the engine output. The Thurfus Feller Gyratil in Britain. First really big tractor arrived in 1927 when the Leeds-based Feller Company announced the first of its Jarrow Tiller models. Feller had been a world leader in agricultural steam power development, but it urgently needed a new product as tractors replaced steam. The fourth is the Lely Multipower Big Tractor Sector in the 1970s was the Dutch machinery manufacturer, Lely. Its multi-power 420 tractor was built in 1977 at its factory in Texas and was designed mainly for the North American market. It used pivot steering and the 420 horsepower output was produced by to 210H. The fifth is Fentrisix 2,740 horsepower made in Germany. That is a more recent arrival in the big tractor category. Starting with the six-wheel drive Fentrisix prototype arriving in 2007, based on the axles and frame from a truck. The Fent tractor boasted a 540 horsepower engine powering a pair of Vario. The sixth is Caterpillar Mount 875E on sale. 598 horsepower in the current top of the range options for those choosing big tractor power. Include three models with rated outputs of 600 horsepower plus. A fourth contender, the Mount 875E model in AGCO's Challenger Track Layer Series is only slightly below the 600 horsepower level at the 7th is Deutz Far. 2011 600 horsepower announced its Agro XXL 1630 tractor in 2009 with four powered axles, pivot steering, and a 16 liter Deutz V8 power unit with 600 horsepower. The transmission is in 1.8F6, a power shift providing a 40 km per hour top speed and including an electrically operated parking brake. The 8th is Quattrack on sale 600 horsepower. For those needing 600 horsepower plus, the 620 model in the Quattrack range from Case IH has a 4-track layout. The model number indicates the rated power output and the maximum power is 682 horsepower. The 9th is Big Roy 1977 600 horsepower. Competition in the high horsepower sector increased in the mid-1970s. The top Steiger model was well over 300 horsepower. And a 500 horsepower model was at an early stage of development at the Big Bud Company, the Versatile. Company in Canada responded within 1977 with the Big. The 10th is New Holland on sale 628 horsepower. Rated outputs for the latest versions of New Holland's T9 series are up to 628 horsepower. And the maximum output is 692 horsepower using Fiat powertrain engines. The 16F to E power shift transmission and the operator can use ground speed management to achieve a CVT Leica. The last one is John Deere on sale 670 horsepower. Deere's 9 R series comes into versions. The 9 R on wheels plus the recently introduced 9 R X model on for tracks.
Both are powered by a 15-liter Cummins. Engine producing 620 horsepower rated output and a maximum of 670 horsepower with the power delivered through a 1.8F.